Hello, welcome to my basic strategy introduction video for Rachel and Blake. I'll go, be going with, uh, I'll be starting with Rachel first. Starting with her, the ranges of her normals, their uses, then moving on to special moves, preferred supers, and a basic strategy between her solo and her with Blake. So her range on her smart combos for A, crouching and standing. They're 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 pretty they're pretty short, so you gotta be in there if you wanna actually connect something. From a distance though you can use the B smart combos. Maybe about a character space away. Like a three three hit. You can also special cancel it with tiny loberia. Right? That hurt. Uh, but I mean, just just be mindful of the, the startup on the B button. It is significantly longer compared to her uh, standing A, as is with all characters, of course. Preferred jumping attack, I would use A over B because B's hitbox is above the umbrella and as you can see jumping in with B is not a good idea to begin with her 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 jump is floaty so I mean I would just jump in with A A into a smart combo uh let's see here uh, that. For crouching B, I don't, I don't use this as an anti-air. It's pretty slow. The hitbox is weird. But I mean, if you can space it out, go ahead. I just typically don't tend to rely on that as an anti-air. Mostly, uh, my game plan is to jump around and throw the belly to activate them. Before I circle back. B, A or B, depending, because A launches them, B will actually do on the spot, so I mean, I'm, that's generally my strat for her solo, is just to launch them and then, if they be going for a smart combo, if one of them actually hits. Her jumping C, just, I don't use that in neutral much, <laughs> outside of combos. Her overhead is about a character space away on the spacing. She has this unique ability where you can push her with the wind. The easiest way to use her wind is to do down C and then hold forward. If you have full meter. So you can get a sweep from like two character faces away. That's 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 pretty cool. And if it gets blocked, you can just cancel it into is it special cancel it? You can special cancel it or you can you can just call in the quit to put you in a better position. Oh yes. No. Oh, I'll start with supers. My preferred super is the bottom bottom really. You can space it out. Maybe about roughly a character space away or it can just be in there. It's a good wake up option. It's a it's a more reliable damage uh, dealer compared to your of course we go forward. Super, which has huge startup. Oh, any opponent, you know, could see it coming and just block. It's really. I mean, the only possible use is for that is just a, sw a safe switch into your secondary character. But I mean, I typically prefer using Biden, Biden, Billy. 
Uh, bread and butter combos with Blake as an assist. Alright, to go A, A, A. Oh, Blake is this A. A, A, jump A, A, down C. So it was. On the third hit of my smart combo, I call in Blake. Finish the smart combo with one more A. And then by that time, I should have enough time to, to jump A, A. Jump cancel A, A, and then down C for the knockdown. Oh, well, that time I didn't jump, huh? Five thousand damage. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? She can go. She can spin backwards to create space. That is amazing. I just discovered that right now. So maybe after you land the the BNB. Uh, air combo with the assist from Blade, you can just, just back up, right? Launch some bats, create havoc. Also, make use of George. Quarter circle, back circle. I mean, if you have the bar to spare, and, you, and you've got corner position, or you just want to get in, just launch George. Jump, jump in with with your smart A, you know, try to get some straight hits, and if you can, you can convert into something quick. Right? And I do believe that is all for Rachel, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, spot him, spot him, really. You can cancel into place after that. Roughly about 8 hits, 7 hits, you can cancel into her super with that timing. And I might have mentioned this before, but my solo strategy with Rachel is just to throw out the Lobelias, activate them. I would only do it from at least full screen or a little bit closer to mid screen, because I mean, it's, it's pretty dangerous if you're up close and you're doing Lobelias. You can get, you get punished for those. At those ranges, I'll try to maybe pose with the stand A or with spacing with the stand B. Stand B can get after the third hit. You can you can add a Lobelia. It will put them in a standing state. So I mean, it, it's not completely advantageous to you unless you delay it with like that. Then it's a, uh, you'll be in a better position. Otherwise, you'd have to cancel into an assist with your partner to put you in a safer position. And I do believe that is all for Rachel, if I'm not mistaken. So next up is Blake. So stay tuned for that. And one thing I forgot to mention regarding synergy between Blake and Rachel, something in neutral that you could uh, try to do is throw out maybe one or two Lobelias, activate them, and then switch in Blake to harass with her stand B or her, any of her B attacks. Like, stop! <laughs> I mean, they're gonna be worrying about if you're if it works better from full screen though, because I mean. You have more time to to get in there and confirm it to like an air combo or even just harass with with B. But yeah, something, something, little something, something. <laughs> 